All right, uh, quick run through for Meerkat 0 0.6.0, uh, released a couple days ago. This video could be anytime. So, we go down, I'm running Windows, download Meerkat, published by Joe Lane, who's one of the people who helps with the Meerkat project. You too can help. Uh, there's other releases. This is the PC version. This is the direct Mac one. There's a CentOS. It's a Linux flavor. Here's just straight Linux. It should work for Ubuntu and some others. And the uh, Pi version for Raspberry Pi. They're all set up for pre-compile and should work fine with all the little ex extra little recommendations for like camera, etc. Alright, run. And it doesn't install, it's just a straight run. And so here we are. Alright, and I'm just going to run through the workflow. So I'm going to run a thing of TP airings uh, posted by, uh, I believe, Jane Smith on the K Chinese K40 Facebook page. Okay, so I select everything here. Uh, you can do a bunch of uh, things like rotate it and uh, position it, but basically this entire thing is supposed to be representative of your laser bed and you set it up in uh, settings to be properly, uh, or preferences. So when you set your bed dimensions here, see how this is getting longer over here? Uh, you set it up to your actual working size bed dimensions and then this will represent your bed so if you do it here it'll uh, go perfectly center in the center of your bed okay and since it was just an SVG file loaded up my raster my engrave and my cut uh, when I click the uh, job thing here it has a uh, pre home this is a automatic uh, home before action it does raster then it does engrave then it does cut and then uh, it does a beep command so for the uh, raster, since it's initially a vector, it's going to have to make that an image. For the cut, it, it has to do optimized cuts to do inside first. Okay, so we execute these commands, and now since it's done, it has nothing to execute, and you just hit start. And it should run uh, right out of the box, uh, regardless if you're using the Whisper or Lib USB driver or the LaserDraw. Uh, CH341 uh, Windows driver that uh, works natively. Okay, and then in controller, you can uh, see it sending the packet. This is going to be a raster part of the job. So in here, you'll see it's rastering. On here, this will be at the center of your screen. Okay, and uh, and in spooler, you can see what it's currently doing. So it's running the raster and so it has engraving cut next. Okay, and so that's done with this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. It's going to keep running the job. It's already spooled. Okay, and let me do an image one. So this is an MC Escher uh, woodcut. Woodcuts work uh, really well. So let's go ahead and do a step three on this over here. And then we would raster it in this part of the thing. We go dither one bit, should convert it to a one bit image. And since I did step three there, uh, here I'm going to have to change this to step three as well. So that the uh, raster job and the image uh, job have the same number of steps, or else it has to uh, convert, which requires that thing. So now it's green from the get go. If I had done this in uh, one here, it would have to convert it over to one, which requires it to uh, actualize the image and resample it. So, so long as these things equal and you're green from the get go, it will do no conversion. So it won't like smear your image at all. And so we start that job. Uh, it adds uh, the pre home and does the raster part of the job, and then it'll do a beep. So. Once it's done with this part of the job that I already deleted, but it will keep uh, representing, it will move on to uh, doing this job. And you can just uh, mess with them and spool them. 
since this job's already done, it's already here. So when it gets to that section, it will just uh, move on to that. And that's all you really need to do. You just drag things on your uh, into your scene. You manipulate them uh, according to this. You don't have to move your stuff around because wherever you put this, this will be in the upper uh, right-hand corner of your job. This will be in a lower left-hand corner because you set the actual size to the size and so it knows once it's done with this job it'll just go to the next location it doesn't actually because it tracks the location the entire time and that's the basic work through it just basically get something drag it onto the thing uh, do whatever little operations you need to do on it and hit go it'll get more complex in the future there's ideas about it but uh, for now that's what you got Okay, uh, thanks for watching.